The researchers here at the zoo are working with the keeper staff both here at the zoo and at our wildlife safari park to do whatever we can to breed more tigers. All the tigers in all of the zoos in the U.S. are managed together as one population as part of a species survival plan or SSP. For the Amur tigers there's only about a hundred of them right now in all of the zoos across the United States and there's not a lot of breeding going on. With a population this small of only about a hundred animals in all the different zoos across the country uh, we have to be really careful about who is paired up with who. The SSP makes recommendations for about 30 to 40 pairs of cats to breed. We move cats all over the country to try to accommodate these breedings. It's kind of like internet dating. We get them together and then we just kind of cross our fingers and hope that they get along. And a lot of times that doesn't happen. It's not that we're getting cats that are breeding and not getting pregnant. It's that we have cats that don't like each other very much or cats that just don't like each other in that way and just want to be friends. We have computer software that will tell us exactly how related they are and we can make sure that we're making just the right matches based on the genetic diversity of, of the population. Unfortunately, those cats that are the best genetic matches aren't always the most compatible. That's where the research comes in to kind of overcome some of those preferences to make sure that the genetics match up the best. Monitor hormones in the females um, to make sure that we're getting the males and the females together at just the right time when we have their best chance of success. Going a little bit further with some of the research to develop things like artificial insemination where we can collect sperm from the males and use it to inseminate the females so they don't have to see each other, they don't have to like each other, they don't even have to be at the same zoo. We can freeze samples that are collected here, take them to another zoo or bring samples from another male here to try to overcome a lot of that uh, uh, compatibility issues. Talk about the science side here with our researchers, but on the keeper side, it's really the art of tiger breeding. Being able to read the animals and know them because sometimes those signals about when to open that gate and let the male and female together are really subtle. A lot of times there's a lot of aggression um, with tigers if you try to put them together at the wrong time. And the keepers here at the zoo and also at the park know their animals so well they can pick up on these really subtle clues. We could lose tigers. We lost the South Chinese tiger as it was another subspecies that went extinct in the 1980s and we're on the verge of another one, the Malayan tiger, potentially going extinct in the next 10 years or so. And that is a very real possibility. The Amur tigers we have here behind me are not that far behind. Just a couple thousand animals is, is not a lot. So we need to do everything we can to make sure the tigers are around for a long time.